Hi, I'm Amir Fasil. In this video, we are going to make a monkey catching banana game. Open Scratch 2. Delete Scratchy. We need a monkey. Open Sprite Library and select Monkey 2 Sprite. I think we should make our monkey a little bit smaller. We should change our backdrop. I think Brick Wall 2 is ok for this project. Let's copy this backdrop. We will use this one later. The monkey should go right when right arrow key is pressed and should go left when left arrow key is pressed. Let's program when flag clicked forever loop if right arrow key is pressed then change x by 5 steps let's copy the block for the left arrow key if left arrow key is pressed then change x by negative 5 steps. Let's try the player control going left and going right. Cool. Now we need a banana. Make it small. Banana should fall from top to bottom. When flag clicked, forever loop, change Y by negative 5 because it should go down. It is stuck at the edge but we want it to disappear at the bottom. Go to control, if then go to operators and select less than operator. If Y position is less than negative 170, then set Y to 180. And go to random position. See, the banana is going up and starting from a random position again.
If touching monkey, then go to random position and set Y to 180. That means when banana touches the monkey, our monkey should eat it and banana disappears and a new one starts falling down from the top. Attach the if block to the program. Let's try. Click on green flag. Banana is falling down. It disappears once it reaches the bottom edge. Monkey can catch the banana and eat it. And a new banana appears on top at a new random position. Let's increase the speed of monkey. Change x by 10 steps and change x by negative 10 steps. I think it looks fine. We need to add sound effects. Go to sounds and add chomp sound. Go to tab and drag and drop. Play sound block. Play sound chomp. Now we should track the score. For that we need to create a variable. Go to data and make a variable. Variable name score. Click OK. Add set score to 0 on top. And change score by 1 in the bottom if block. Now try the program. As you can see the score is changing. Now we need a challenge for the monkey, a villain. Add rock sprite and copy the code. Let's make a variable called health. We should add health variable to the game. At the start of the game, the monkey will have 100% health and each time when a rock hits the monkey, Health decreases by 10% and add a sound. I think a human scream sound is good for this. After all, we all are apes. Ah! Whoa. <laughs> okay, that is cool. As you can see health is decreasing but it should not go beyond zero. Go to the monkey sprite. If health equals zero then stop all. Yeah, the game is over, but there is no message.
we can add a game over message. Go to the backdrop and type game over. Adjust it. And in script, switch backdrop to brick wall 3. Let's play the game. And the game is over. Happy learning!